it was funny because growing up, I kind of was the ultimate nerd. My father raised me on 50s, 60s sci-fi, the really cheesy ones. My mom raised me on 70s, 80s horror films. I remember like going to the drive-in theater and seeing something like, for instance, Jason the Argonauts or the Sinbad movies, Ray Harryhausen and all the stop motion animation. Um, that is that is the the beginning of CGI. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it, was you know, it was like precursor, yeah. but like hands on, man. Yeah, it, it was beautiful. But I think also I also fell in love along the way with film, but also photography. So I actually went to college in Michigan for photography and fine arts. Um, Look between L.A. and New York at the time between what would be the better place to go to. It seemed like L.A. had a few options. New York just seemed like, uh-uh. Even though stylistically is, I think I'm more New York, a little more gritty, kind of like darker. But I came out here with my photo portfolio. Got on film sets, starting out as an art PA. Uh, moved up on my first film from art PA to uh, product, or props master and still photographer. And immediately found within like six months, I was up to art direction and production design. But at the time I thought, looking around set, I might need more skills. So I thought back then, this is like 96, 95, 96, why not look into CG? Cause it was super early at the time. But again, like I did to get on film sets, I used that same photo portfolio I had went to a place where somebody knew they might be looking for people and they hired me on based on my eye and my creativity. So I had to learn on the job, my first CG gig back in about 95. 